Former President Donald Trump is facing an unprecedented challenge defending himself in criminal court while running for president at the same time. The campaign has raised millions of dollars in recent days, even offering a T-shirt with a fake mugshot. Trump responded on social media this morning saying, quote, the people see what's going on and will not allow it to continue. Tremendous spirit right now in the Republican Party, end quote. Trump's lawyers say they will try to get the case dismissed long before the voters go to the polls. Is it a motion to dismiss for prejudicial pretrial publicity? I mean, is there a place in America, but particularly, is there a place in New York where Donald Trump can get a fair trial, that will be the argument of the defense. Trump will be on the road campaigning again next week when he's scheduled to speak at the NRA convention in Indianapolis. Meanwhile, local political leaders are responding to the former president's indictment and subsequent arraignment. WRBL's Hannah James spoke with chairs of both the Muskogee County Democratic and Republican committees. She joins us now. Teresa, both sides have differing opinions on whether they believe this indictment was politically motivated. The charges against the former president are centered around 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors say the charges stem from a series of hush money payments during his 2016 presidential campaign. Trump pleaded not guilty Tuesday after being arrested in Manhattan. One major question that remains, was the grand jury's indictment politically motivated? This is not about political parties. This is not about upsetting the 2024 um, election season. This is about we had information before. We didn't have enough. Now we have enough. Let's bring the charges. So it's, it's fair. I absolutely believe that it is um, in place. It was part of this DA's job to charge him, to try to remove him from being a candidate in the 2024 election. But um, like I said before, we are united in this cause to not weaponize our judicial system. Trump himself has called this indictment politically motivated. Teresa Rice says these efforts have garnered more support for the former president and the Republican Party than ever seen before. So far, his campaign has raised more than $8 million since the news of the indictment first broke. Back to you. All right, thank you, Hannah. Trump could face additional charges out of Georgia as a Fulton County district attorney is continuing to investigate his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election results. We'll have more coming up on News 3 at 6.